Chris 6 News at noon continues. Well, good noon time, South Texas. We are picking up a few little clouds out there, but still a very nice day. Temperatures are in the uh, mid 70s, just about 80 degrees. Winds are very light right now, obviously a lot better than yesterday with those howling winds, but we're beginning to pick up a north wind already. That's what we're waiting for. That's going to bring us in some dry air for the rest of the afternoon. So uh, you can see right about there, we're just beginning to pick that up. And as that wind increases, we're really going to lower the humidity and make it a very pleasant evening. Tomorrow, your Friday is looking pretty good right now. You can see how the winds are now turning around out of the uh, still out of the southwest here, but generally out of the north. And that is going to blow away whatever cloud cover we had up there. And all that moisture came in with the big wind. Now, yesterday you saw the temperatures. We're definitely in the 90s again today. Once the, uh, the wind clears everything out and the sun pops out, but you'll notice how it is much colder in North Texas. What is going on? Well, we have that monstrous storm that's up in the Midwest. It is pr pushing this very strong north wind. Obviously, it's moderating by the time it gets here, but you can see the big difference in temperatures. Now, here's that monster storm we've been talking about for a couple of days. This is already put down about 18 to 24 inches of snow in the plains. Uh, it has produced hail. It has produced high winds of 70 miles an hour and it's now rolling toward Minnesota. This is going to be one for the record books because this is the second uh, major storm in two weeks. Uh, remember they had the one that flooded everybody? Well, this one's going to bury everybody in snow before it all pulls out. As far as we're concerned, we're obviously way far away from that. We are looking at, of course, uh, the weekend. There is going to be a frontal, this is the dry line, okay? There's going to be a frontal system up here. This one is going to get to us on Sunday, Saturday morning. And the question is, will it have enough moisture to trigger some showers? Well, we're going to talk about that. There you see the storm. There you see the center. That one's going east. No major problems as far as we're concerned. So this line comes through. We pick up a north wind. Uh, whatever cloud cover we get is going to get blown away. Your Friday, which is between these two, is looking pretty good. But then you see Saturday. Now, this is Saturday morning. This is midnight. And so Saturday morning, the front will come through. And there you see a little kind of shower activity. Now. Most of this stuff will stay to the north. You can see the low pressure that's going to carry it that way. But as the front comes through by Saturday afternoon, it should start to clear. In fact, Saturday night for all the festivities downtown, we should be in really good shape. And Sunday is looking spectacular. Got another view of the major storm going that way. And here's the one that's coming into Texas. Notice how it goes to about Dallas and then it starts pulling north. If it came any further south, we'd have a problem. But Looks like it's going to stop in Dallas. So let's take a look at your extended outlook. We're looking for uh, almost 890 today. Then in the mid 80s, little shower chance on Saturday and very mild, very nice weather for Sunday.